Hey guys, Jobin here. I want to do a little uh, size and shape comparison video for you today. Got three cold steel knives. I know a lot of times when I'm looking to buy something, I, I find myself wondering, you know, how it compares to a sort of similarly sized model from the same company. So, got these three here. We're going to take a look at them. This is the Mini AK-47. The American Lawman. And the Rajah 3. Okay. The uh, Mini AK is uh, by far the smallest of these three, obviously. It's a very lightweight knife. And here's the... You know what? Actually, I'm going to shift the camera over for this. I need to get a little more arm, arm reach. Okay. That's better. Here's what the standard grip looks like, where, kind of oddly, it's almost like a three-finger thing. There is something for your pinky to wrap around, but it's not super secure. Oddly enough, this doesn't bother me. This actually feels like a very comfortable knife with a very secure, controllable grip. And if you want to choke up on it, uh, you can do that. Like many cold steel models, it has this sort of shelf before the blade. And you can close it like that. Very nice. Very similar to the way uh, Spyderco sets up their lockbacks. So you can close them easily one-handed. Now, here's the Lawman. And let's show them side by side. Cutting edge length, it's not that much longer on the lawman. It, it's a bit, it's significant, but not huge. And you have, interestingly, kind of about the same amount of space between the back of the cutting edge and, you know, your index finger in the standard grip position. Uh, we can also come up here like this, of course, and this seems much more and this has a more traditional rounded finger choil. Uh, back here in this grip, you have a, f a fairly generous full four finger grip all the way down. A little bit of jumping up here. Not super functional. And you can close the knife safely like this because the choil will land on your index finger, won't cut you. And for something more directly in the lawman's size class, is like a full-size knife with a full-size handle. Here's the Rajah 3. Obviously very different blade styles, but uh, similar size handles. Uh, this one's G10, and this one's the, whatever they call it, the Grivery. Slips my mind what that's actually made out of, but that's what they call it. The Lawman's a little more slab-sided, sort of traditional for a G10 knife. Uh, this one has a more rounded feeling handle, the Rajah. Uh, like all three of these, you can close it like that, and it doesn't shear off your fingers. Uh, one thing I really like about Cold Steel's opening plate uh, thing they have on some of these, uh, besides the fact that you can 
In most pants, you can pull the knife open straight from your pocket by hooking it on the edge. Is uh, this is very very easy to get to, even with an open, even with uh, gloved or cold hands, because your thumb just just slides into that depression there. And it's very f easy to feel when it's in the right place, and you just push, and the knife comes open. Um, some knives you can flick them open all fancy, but it actually requires sometimes a little bit of dexterity and concentration to make that work right. I feel like a lot of cold steel designs, uh, they're very yeah, user friendly. They're very easy to open. Even if it's not as easy to flick open all nice and flashy, it's very reliable. There's the uh, Raja next to the Mini AK. And let's just get one more shot of them all together. And that'll probably do it for this video. There you go, guys. This is Jobin signing off saying, remember where your knife is.